It's a big day for the national capital. Atishi all set to take oath as the chief minister of the national capital. Atishi, along with her council of ministers, will be taking oath at 4.30 p.m. today. She was unanimously selected for the chief ministerial position by Amadni Party MLAs. And she is all set to become Delhi's third woman chief minister after Sheila Dixit and Shushma Swaraj. Now, Atishi's tenure, however, as the chief minister of Delhi will be very brief. Delhi elections will be held in early 2025, that is next year. Amadni Party MLA Mukesh Alawat will also be taking oath as the minister along with Atishi as a cabinet minister. The other four ministers, Saurabh Bharadwaj, Kailash Kehlot, Kopal Rai and Imran Hussain, all of them have been retained. The seventh Delhi minister is yet to be announced. Now it was a very dramatic turn of events where we saw it was Arvind K. Jival who made an announcement from a stage and he said he will resign. After he resigned, it was Atishi who is now all set to take oath at 4.30 p.m. today. Arvind Kejriwal, when he had from the stage made the announcement that he will resign, he had told the people of Delhi that just like the Sita had given Agni Pariksha, he will also give an Agni Pariksha and only after people choose him in the Delhi elections which will be held in February 2029, 2025 will he become the Chief Minister. And now with regards to that resignation, today at 4.30 p.m. we will see Atishi taking oath as the Chief Minister of the National Capital. My colleague Amit is joining me on the story. Amit, it indeed is a very big day for the Aam Aadmi Party, but Atishi has work cut out for her. Delhi elections will take place in February next year. Uh, right, Ashwarya. Big day for Aam Aadmi Party also because, you know, uh, uh, the government in the national capital was also and always viewed from the angle of Arvind Kejriwal. This will be possibly for the first time that uh, when you have uh, the full majority government in the national capital and despite that uh, Arvind Kejriwal will not be heading that particular government. You know, if you look at the three uh, tenures of the Aam Aadmi Party right from 2013, 15 and 20, uh, this is the first instance when Atishi will be taking over as the chief of the government in the national capital that is being led by Aam Aadmi Party. So, yes, that an important transition, but it is also declaration of a narrative by Aam Aadmi Party that look uh, uh, the BJP tried to tarnish our image and uh, Arvind Kejriwal chose to step down from the Chief Minister's office and is going uh, to the People's Court for Agni Pariksha. Uh, so that's uh, the messaging and hence it is going to be a uh, you know quite and calm uh, uh, oath taking ceremony inside the LG Secretariat where you will have Atishi taking oath at 4.30 followed by her Council of Ministers which includes the uh, four present ministers of the Arvind Kejriwal government and a new minister Mukesh Sahilawat who possibly will be taking over as the SCST welfare minister in the national capital. Back to you. Thank you Amit for giving us all those details. At 4.30pm it will be Atishi who will become the third woman chief minister of the national capital.